Hello everybody, I am at James's today. Um, he had a motorcycle accident yesterday and I'm just taking today because he, he, he's hurt his hand and he, was, he, he said it was okay but this morning he's woke it swollen and he says it's very painful. So I'm going to just take him to the local hospital here in Doddington. <laughs> Not many villages have a own hospital but this one does so we're, we're quite lucky on that one. So we'll go and get assessed there and then if he needs x-rays or something we can go down to Huntington to Hitchinbrook Hospital to get some x-rays but we don't know that yet so we'll just have to see. Okay I'll get back to you in a minute when um, I've spoken to James and see where we're going. Okay cheers guys. Hello. All right. Yeah, my hand's fractured. Oh. <sighs> Just so my fingers, oh, my finger. Well, I've got thin. Don't need any of them. I know that. <laughs> I know that. Just put it on the in the. Well, just leave it there because I'll fray out when we get out. Mm -hmm. So you're all done, or do you need to go to Hunting? I got. I'm definitely. I can't work. Well, of course you can't. How can you walk with a fractured hand? And then. Well, I've got, to come, I've got to come back here in 10 days. Yeah, vehicle tax reminder. Well, that's for your CBR, so... Oh, for no <laughs> point now. Saw, saw it, for God's sake. Yeah, I'll fine. saw it in a minute. I'll saw it when we get home. I want to say I'll rip this out for you, Papa, but I'm not going to lie, mate. I can't, really. It's it's worn it right down. There's literally nothing left of it, really. Right, let me just introduce Go this. On. Right, now, this is um, James's CBR 600 that he was riding and was involved in the accident. And as you can see, um, he can't move it because it's propped up on the exhaust pipe. Well, he'll I'll sh show you that in a minute. Mm -hmm. But as you can see from the damage on the back here, all the way down the side, the whole of the fairing, foot pegs gone. Both sides. Both sides? Yeah, there's no foot pegs either side, Papa. How, well, how did it manage to do that? Because it, uh, normally when something flicks over, all the top gets smashed. <laughs> oh, it did. <laughs> it did smash. Right, can you just take that and walk yeah, around? I'll show you. I'll show you the crash damage. I'll have a. God, another one. They thought they can do it. Well, at least you've got the hack. Is that. Oh, oh no, it snapped it right off, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, it snapped the bracket off and everything, mate. Oh, God, that was a new one you had. You brought it. Oh, no, we literally just cuss. We literally did it all up with the alley cleaner, put the new thing on. Gone. Oh. That's been bent down. The, the clutch levers will bent down. Oh no. So it's, have you seen my brake lever though? Look how much of it's grounded. Well that ground that off really nice. <laughs> <laughs> it all works though. It's the worst bit. It all works still. It still starts up. Well. That's why I'm thinking I'm gonna buy this back off the insurance company. Just have a quick look at it and just Underneath there, with oh, well, the exhaust pipes. Oh, okay. Yeah, one sec. As you can see, we've got even the screens bust. I know. <laughs> one sec, I'll show you the exhaust pipe from underneath. No, it's a, it's I think it'll be a category C. What's that? Or whatever category it is where you can buy it back. Yeah, and I think I'll be able to buy this back. Then right. repair it, because it just needs a whole new fairing. Two foot yeah, but Max said there's a crack underneath by the engine is. It might be a crack. Oh no. Yeah. It's not some um, losing oil, is it? So. Oh well. <laughs> no, it can't not. be because there's no oil underneath there's it. No oil underneath it. So. Anyway, you've got to leave it as it is because you can't touch oh, it. Papa, it's, it's literally. Because the insurance yeah. people need to see exactly what. But is it not funny to think like the tank's actually got no scratches on it? Well, sort of said it's quite weird. It's the fact that it just don't make any sense, does it? Not really. <laughs> to damage both sides, and then the petrol tank is perfect. I've never had that. P 
pissed me off because it's one box of fucking heaters. I like this. Look. All grounded that. As far as I didn't snap, if I'm really honest with you. So, what? if you're going, you were going towards Huntingdon. Yeah. And the woman pulled out as if she, if, if you're coming back from St. Ives and you would pull it up to the Yeah. Back, right? You're I mean, coming here, she's coming here, that would be going straight over. Papa, the she literally was there and she just come across like that. From the That's fucking piddly mean. roundabout like that. Well, I'm literally like halfway, quarter way over. I mean, she just comes across, stops, how far I can get round, and she just continues again. So I literally had to crash into her. So that's literally her so fault. Which, so, what I don't understand is, if her car was there and you were here, well, let me just show how you the did all this, all this damage end up on this side? It should be on the other side. I don't know, mate. I went flying. Well, it should. If you hit a car, like, well, if you hit in the side of the car, the, all the front forks and everything will be smashed to pieces. I hit it there. There, in that corner. I hit that corner. So the motorcycle is no more. Well, I'll say that. Two new foot pegs, new exhaust system, full fairing, headlights, levers, five, six hundred pounds worth of damage. If it was new, forget it, it's about three grand's worth of damage. And they're not going to pay for that. They're just going to write it off. Yeah, look around. Oh, I understand. I, I know now. She was coming round here like that, and you were coming up to the roundabout, and she was coming round there. Yeah, and pulled out in front of me. Blocked up my whole Should entrance. Be? I couldn't go anywhere apart from into our car. I can see exactly what happened now. This side of the bike actually hits the front of the car and then it's been thrown that way. Obviously it's gone it's been gone over that way onto its side and then slid along. That's why all the scrape damage is on this side. Mm. Um and I should have met all the, all that side. That's why you've got the foot peg and everything missing off this side mm. is the fact that that smashed into the headlight and everything, yeah. which threw you over there. Mm. And then and that's the crash helmet. It's completely buggered. Oh no! It this hasn't was had that long. Oh no! About come off as well. That snapped off. I'll just put it back on. I can't really use it if I'm honest with you. So that's the whole thing. Very, not in a good way. Oh. You were, do you know how lucky you were not to have your leg ripped off or something or smashed? I think to myself sometimes, but I'm not joking with you, especially with the round of crashes, especially when I crashed into the two cars this year and this car again this year. I I'm told you, the more life. you, because you ride all the time, yeah, yeah. your chances of an accident are oh. increased tenfold. When I used to ride, I used to ride like every other weekend not so every week good. in the winter time it might be put aside for a couple of months until it was a dry day and they washed the salt off as in it had been raining and dried out then i would ride so if you're only riding occasionally obviously your your law right. of averages is completely different oh, I'm so you, the well it is isn't it so your law of averages will be completely different so because you ride all the time you are way way more prone to having an accident and people just don't look james they do. It's not that proper. There's barely left in the car. It's just fucking... You give, swear. So you give way to the right, yeah. I'm already on the roundabout. I just don't know, like, what goes through your head just to go. And then hesitate. And then watch me. And then go again. Yeah, well, I mean, I had that, like I told you, that with the roundabout at Chatteris. Went round, after dropping you off that morning, went round the roundabout. I, I looked at the woman... And she's looking straight through me, and I thought, I know what you're going to do. Oh, yeah, you can you see You are it. definitely going to come across, and I'm already getting on the brakes, and away she come back. So it's, I thought, if I really floor this, I might just get round her before this happens. But you don't want to do it. But right? she went straight, hit the, hit the back wheel, basically. What, of your car? Not this one, no, oh. the Citroen, and I had the Citroen. Oh, really? She had the, hit the back wheel of the Citroen. The only thing it broke was the covering side. Mm. It broke that, but the rest of it was okay, but... I said to her, I said, I said, I knew you didn't see me. I just knew you weren't going to see me because you looked straight through me. She said, no, I didn't see you at all. I said, what were you looking at? And, she said, and then she said, 
well, where did you come from? I'm on the roundabout. What do you mean? Where did I come from? <laughs> I'm not. I didn't. Su- I'm not an alien. I didn't suddenly. This is my spacecraft. It's a car. I didn't suddenly just appear. Exactly. Well, you didn't have your indicator. Well, you just said you didn't even see me. So how would you know I didn't have an indicator on? And do you know what? You picked on the one person that always I uses his indicators. Like that, so I'm sorry. You can't pull that one on me. I always do. Right, now this is the, the end can of the exhaust pipe. And obviously this shouldn't be going that way. As you can see, it's all been mullered into there. And it ripped straight out. <laughs> oh my gosh. You were lucky, James. Oh no. You could be laying in A&E now with some serious freaking injuries. Oh no. If, you, if that had been, the impact had been where your legs were from that car, yeah. that would have completely smashed your leg. You probably would have lost your leg. Really? Yeah, it would have been like that, from what I've seen. That would have been like that, yeah. I have to admit, Papa. And if you've got any um, pictures or anything like that, can you download? I've got everything. Give them, give them what, everything you've got you need to put, because it's all going in the film. Okay. All right, so people can see exactly what happens if you crash your motorcycle. I just realised all the bottom fairings each side have actually pushed in. They're not even bowed out. They're actually put, it's all pushed in. Well, when I, the picture that Batty showed me when it was laying on its side, you know, the exhaust bottom part, it was all like bust that. out here. And yeah. the exhaust pipe said, I'm thinking, I don't know. You were very lucky. Very, very the lucky. The worst thing is, Papa, it's not, I don't care about crashing and all that. The bit that's put, like, actually made me angry of all, I actually have sentimental value to the bike. Yeah, of course. That's what's more, that's what's actually, that's the bit that makes me angry and kind of sad at the same time. That's why I want to buy it back. Yeah. Fine.